One of Hawaii's prized snorkeling spots, which is also a marine preserve, is facing a potential coral die-off. The coral bleaching at the Kapoho tide pools on the windward side of the Big Island is the worst scientists have ever seen. KITV Force Cam Tran shows us up close a look at the paling reef. Take a dive in the beautiful Kapoho tide pools and you'll notice a dramatic change. You will see um, kind of like a ghost town. A ghost town because these large clusters of white indicate the worst coral bleaching the tide pools, also known as the Waiopai, have seen in recent years. We're talking about right now the entire coral colony being bleached and 80% of coral colonies that exist in Waiopai tide pools being bleached for the blue rice coral. Dr. Misaki Takabayashi has been studying this reef in Lower Puna for a decade. She says all 10 species of coral that call the tide pools home are undergoing some type of stress, some like the blue rice coral more than others. Although she says it's normal for coral to undergo a cycle of bleaching, she says this is severe. We would not typically see the entire colony bleached ever and only 10% of the coral colonies that exist in that habitat would be slightly bleached. The UH Hilo marine science professor says she noticed the spread in late September and blames warmer than normal ocean water as a major stressor. This place in Puna, Waiopai tide pools, is particularly, um, the effect gets exaggerated because the warm water ponds within the pools. Right, so it doesn't get flushed out. In addition to the warmer water, Dr. Takabayashi says the active hurricane season and wetter than normal summer weaken an already vulnerable ecosystem. It dumped a lot of rain, so a lot of the uh, the whatever was sitting in the aquifers was flushed out by by um, a lot of fresh water going in onto the land and then being flushed out. So we saw that brown water um, right after Hurricane Anna going into the tide pools. Right now, scientists are continuing to monitor and test the water quality and hope maybe some cooler water this winter and less runoff will help the coral recover and prevent them from dying. Cam Tran, KITV4 News.